Hello, Slush. How's everyone doing? My name is Patricia Bubna. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Orbillion Bio. And we make cultivated beef. So we grow meat cells, mammalian cells, in bioreactors to make delicious things like the burger that you can see here and some other products. We go after the ground beef market. Ground beef is everywhere. It's a $200 billion global market. And when you think of sausages, dumplings, frozen lasagna, burgers, this is where you'll find ground beef. And for us, the most important thing is to know what our customers want. They want something that's tasty. They want something that's available. And it needs to be at cost parity with traditional beef. Nobody wants to pay more. And this is exactly what we set out to do. And why? Because transforming how we produce food is the single biggest climate action that we can take. Beef alone has about 8% of greenhouse gas emissions, of total greenhouse gas emissions, 8% of that is beef. That is the same amount as concrete. So this is an important problem. We think of, oh, all the cows living on the mountains or elsewhere, but the truth is that livestock for food production is the biggest biomass of mammalians on this planet. Wild animals are really in the minority. And what we have done, when we think about, oh, traditional food production, it has never been traditional. We need to change how we make food. Because what we've done in the last decades is improve a system that is really reaching its ceiling. And now we have, for the first time in history, the ability to decouple food production from land use. Instead of growing more and more and more animals, we can use simply their cells and grow only what's necessary. And what's necessary is the meat and not all of the bones and the hooves and the claws and the feelings. Nobody really needs that. So the way we make meat helps us to really reduce both water use, land use, energy use, re reduce methane emissions and greenhouse gas emissions. We will be about seven times more efficient in producing beef cells because they convert energy so much better. We feed them directly with everything that is in the bloodstream of an animal. And that's what we put in our, we call it nutrient media, that's the nutrient soup that the cells swim in. And you can see it here in one of the 200 liter bioreactor runs that we've recently done um, here in Europe with one of our partners. So, as I mentioned, taste is important, but so is price parity. And for price parity, you need to get to scale. We are the first and only company that's able to scale mammalian cells, beef cells, to a pre-commercial scale with our unique platform. And that's you know, also not only luck. It's because my co-founder and I met in the biopharma industry. And the biopharma industry is the single industry that has really um, was able to bring mammalian cell culture up to commercial scale. And when I say commercial scale for mammalian cell culture, for the experts among you, that's about 20,000 liters. So it's um, bioreactors that are about as high as the upper end of the screen. And this is where we can get with our system within the next two years and achieve the necessary further cost reduction. As you can see, we've already done quite a journey from where we started out with the con concept of our billion and growing animal cells to our first tasting after our Y Combinator batch in winter 2021. We actually were the first company to serve not only beef at that time, we also had Austrian alpine elk uh, and we had lamb. It was a pretty fun event still in the uh, COVID times. And we started scaling beef for climate reasons and because it's the product with the biggest market of all of them. And right now, our sole focus is to get to revenue. I'm not gonna lie to you, we will need quite a bit of, cap, quite a bit of CapEx for that. 
And there is a solution for that. I like to compare that with the battery industry, where I used to work with a company as well, and they managed not only to bring the cost down, but also to get financing from strategics, from governments, to really get to commercial scale. And that's the same thing that we're doing. I'm really, really proud about the partnerships we've built that will help us to get there. One of these strategic partnerships is public, uh, which is a Dutch food company that we plan to co-locate with, and they're also investors in our company. So with those big B2B partnerships that will use our, our beef in their products, whether that's burgers or frozen products, uh, or as an ingredient in their plant-based products, we will get to our first um, 23 million of revenue by 2027. We plan to launch our product in 2026. So I talked a lot about price parity and I wanna show you what the key parameters for that are. I'm not showing you the historic cost there, but we've already brought down the cost by 97%. You know, we just have another 97% to go or so. It's perfectly doable. We are in a time where the biggest cost drivers, as you can see, are things that are fully under our control. Means we don't need any scientific breakthroughs for that. We just need really good engineering skills. And luckily, we have a very good, capable bioprocess team. And my co-founder and I have also worked in the industry before. So we know the next steps very, very well. How do you get from small scale to large scale? You need to scale up. But with that scale up, of course, you get also the benefit of the economies of scale. You need to optimize the process, which has to do with boring things like, can we harvest more of ourselves more efficiently? And we found a unique way to do that by using adherent cell culture for our first process. And then, of course, optimizing the media, improving the yield. So all of these are things that have been ongoing in uh, our facilities and that we will refine to get to a $4 per kilogram price which is really where we need to be at mass scale to be able to sell and have our beef in every McDonald's, Burger King, et cetera, of the world. So our master plan, and for the ones of you that actually read slides, uh, involves world domination. Um, but of course, you need to start somewhere. I think the most important thing is to launch a first product and to get commercial partners lined up for that, which we have. Right now, the focus is on proving that we can the cost down, get the cost down, but also proving that we can get to scale and reliably produce a product. And we're on track with our latest run just having concluded in September. And right now, we're able to produce around 31 kilograms, ramping up to produce 150 kilograms per month next year, and then really going to scale where we'll be able to produce 2,000 tons annually initially and then of course at full commercial scale we can 7x that or how many bioreactors you want to pay for so finally what i want to conclude with is i think that the future of food is now and i think we need to invest in it now and all the parameters are ready for it for cultivated beef to take over the world. I'm Patricia Bubna, this is Orbillion Bio. Thank you so much.